Hello, this is Bridget Ra with Divine Essentials. All right, we're going to do fire signs. So this is those of you who are either Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or you're cross-watching for somebody that has Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in any of those placements, okay? So you can either be the fire sign or be dealing with somebody that's the fire sign. Um, sorry. That likes to keep falling down for some reason. And I'm a little weird. Alright. So, uh, yeah. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. I found a thing on Google, and so I figured I would use this. There's six different questions. Well, there's a little bit more than six questions, but the beginning part of this is going to be how you feel about the relationship, what your approach and outlook is. The second question is, how does your partner's current emotions, attitude, and expectations towards the relationship, like what's going on there? Um, and then the connection between the two of you, what do you guys have in common? What binds you together? And then if this is resonating, there will be an extended version available for you where you can find out what is the strength of this relationship, the qualities that make it flourish, what are the weaknesses that you may need to improve upon, and then for the end, are you guys going to be able to have a successful relationship, are there any threats, and what do you need to do moving forward, okay? So let's find out how you are feeling about this relationship at this time. What's going on for you? What are the fire signs feeling? Ooh. All right, we got the Four of Pentacles. So for me, the Four of Pentacles, it can it can indicate like um, our foundation, but it's also somebody that's like guarded. It can be somebody that can even be seen a little bit greedy, like trying to hold on to all of their stuff. Like they could have a focus on just like protecting themselves as well. So I'm, I'm really leaning towards, especially within this deck, the moon back there, you know, that can represent insecurities and secrets and all of that. I just feel like whoever I'm tapping into, and again, this could be vice versa. This could be the person you're dealing with and you may be the, the other partner. So if you have to flip the stories, flip the stories. This just popped out as well. Um, so I feel like you may be a little guarded right now. You may feel like you need to protect yourself. And you could be insecure about this connection, right? You may just be feeling a little bit insecure about the relationship. Um, and so your approach to it at this time may just be like, I need to protect myself. I need to guard myself. I need to keep myself, you know, over here and, and make sure that I'm okay. And that could be due to pain, all right? This person that you've been dealing with may have hurt you a lot. Um, or you have already been hurt, your foundation, your core may have already been hurt by others. And what I find interesting now is you got four and four, which again, four represents our foundation. So I feel like the foundation of your union has been messed up and you may be feeling a little upset by that. And I'm also picking up that you guys just have had that happen anyways. Like anytime you've gotten together with somebody, it's like right now you may just be guarded into when it comes to relationships altogether due to being, you know, manipulated or cheated on or hurt by others or even just seeing other people because our foundation can be created in childhood. You know, the way our parents were brought up, like how we were brought up around our parents' relationships and things like that. The Four of Wands is about marriage commitment union so I, I really feel like this is kind of just giving me that confirmation that whoever this person is here they're very guarded when it comes to a commitment or a union with another person and I, I am really picking up that a lot of this may stem from childhood and and for those of you where you grew up and everything was hunky-dory as a kid maybe your person you're dealing with had issues as a child and so that's brought up whatever has happened between the two of you that's now got you in this guarded stance and on the bottom of the deck is the five of swords so the five of swords is somebody that feels defeated um this is like the war and the battle but even if you're the one that's victorious in this nobody's really the winner especially when it comes to love like you don't i mean there are people out there who get excitement or they they it's almost like it becomes a battle of like, oh, I'm going to get them back. I'm going to hurt them because they hurt me. And, and it can become a vicious cycle where in the end, nobody really wins. It's like, 
you're just holding on to resentment and anger and pain and misery and all this crap. And so even if you're the one that's like on top of the, the freaking mountain at that time with the sword in the air and you're like, you got the last jab, you're still not victorious because that jab is coming from pain. So it, it definitely feels like, you know, how you're feeling towards this at this time is that you may be a little like, oh my God, you know, this has been difficult. And your approach right now, your outlook right now may be that your union with this person isn't isn't going to be an easy thing that it's going to be a f uphill battle or a fight okay and again that could be vice versa the person you're dealing with could be in that energy at this time all right this definitely wants to come out the 6 of cups so again inner child for me the 6 of cups represents our inner child it can also connect to our past lives but it's also a card of reconciliation so i feel like in order for these, for the two of you to reconcile, your approach may need to be to go into that little child inside of you, the, or the parts of you that have been hurt, and even if it was not from this lifetime, it could have been another lifetime, and look at those things, and maybe approach this relationship from the standpoint of a child rather than an adult who's been guarded and hurt and abused and jabbed and you know, holding on to all this pain. Some of you could be dealing with third-party situations because the Three of Swords can indicate that the person you're dealing with is either married or you're married or they don't have to be married, but they could be a karmic relationship. Could also just be karmic behaviors and patterns. Something, you know, a third element within the connection that has caused a lot of these jabs to come in and for somebody here to be feeling defeated. But honestly, I feel like the both of you have been hurt in this relationship. So I feel like your approach should be to let this guard down and not like you know let your guard down but have boundaries so that you don't get jabbed again but tap into that inner child and look at that inner child to figure out where all this pain has come from and why this cycle may be repeating or what's going on since because a lot of times we get hurt and then it's like if you were a kid and your parents split up you know, you can see that. And then it's like everywhere you go, you notice when other people start splitting up or when other people get cheated on or those types of dynamics, whatever you saw or picked up along the way in your life. And again, it could have just been something you went through in a past life. It doesn't have to be the child part of you. It could be an adult in a past life that was hurt within love. Um, oftentimes that repeats over and over. It doesn't always look exactly the same way, but it usually manifests in a similar vibration because we almost attract, we attract it. We attract what we're living within, what vibration we're emitting. And if we're emitting a vibration of expectation of being, you know, hurt by somebody, a lot of times we attract it. So I feel like the two of you probably either have inner child work or past life work to do. A lot of times they go hand in hand, but just feels like this overall energy here of how you're, you're feeling about this is... It's like you want it, you want to reconcile, you want the union, but you feel guarded and you feel pain and you feel defeated. So for some of you, you may be like giving up or just feeling like, I don't even know if I can fight this anymore or if I want to, if I want this anymore because I've been hurt so many times. Yeah, this guy is trying to jump out, Ten of Wands. Um, this is about wanting to drop your burdens and I feel like for some of you, you want to drop the burden of the relationship and others of you, you may want to drop whatever the dynamics, whatever the third element is, whatever the energy is within this relationship that has kept you from being able to reconcile and have like a peaceful union. Because I feel at your core, you do want someone to marry. You want someone to share your life with. You don't want to be walking around feeling all this other stuff. So regardless of, of how you're looking at it, some of you definitely want to just drop it. And I feel like some of you aren't ready to give up. You're, you've been wounded. You've been in the battlefield, but you're still going to hold on. You're still willing to do the work um, and you're still willing to fight for the relationship. Okay. So that feels like a pretty big split there. So you'll know what side you're on. And again, this could be the person you're dealing with. Some of you could have people in your lives that are in that energy. Some of them may be ready to drop this just because of their pain. And some of them are maybe like, all right, I've, this sucks, but I'm not giving up yet. You know, we still got work to do here. I still know that I love this person regardless of how much they've hurt me. I still know I want to reconcile with them. So let's see the current emotions of the partner. And again, this could be either you or the person that you're asking about. You'll know by what side of the story you've resonated with in the beginning of this reading. So if you were the one that feels like that guarded, you know, energy, 
then this will be them. Oh, goodness. So it feels like whoever you're dealing with has similar stuff going on. Um, you know, similar energies here. Like I said, I feel like you both probably have past life, inner child stuff to do. So the Six of Cups, their current emotions towards you, I feel they do maybe want to reconcile with you. Um, and on the bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. So this is somebody that truly does love you, has a lot of emotion for you. Uh, but the King of Cups is somebody that can you know, mask that. So they could be the one that was guarded. They could be the one that's pretending that, that they, like, don't care, or just there's all this love and all this emotion under the surface, but at, but when you look at them, you would have no idea that they even give a shit, okay? So that could be something that you have struggled with. That could be why you feel defeated in this, that maybe why it's been, like, a battlefield and um, you're now guarded because maybe in the past you were giving and giving and giving, and this person wasn't giving equally to the relationship. And they may have wanted to. I feel like this person wanted to give to you, but they are just not able to open up and, and express how much they actually do love you or care about you. But there's definitely love here. There's definitely, like, these emotions of, of nostalgia, wanting to reconcile with you, wanting to have justice with you. So I feel like, again, if there was um, karmic partners or karmic energy within this connection it's like they they want to let go of that stuff so they can be with you so the person that we're tapping into now definitely has a better better outlook and vibration i feel than the other person you know what i mean like they 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 could have more hope or more love in their heart it's not that they have more love in their heart but it's like they're more they may be more wanting to more so ready to express it than you are at this time and i feel like that's due to the fact that they may have not have done that in the past they kept themselves held back they didn't express what they were actually feeling they had all this stuff going on under the surface but they never let you know and so now now that you're like nah i'm not going to do this anymore they may actually be ready to bring justice to this connection and get rid of whatever thing or distraction person, place, whatever it is that's kept them from being able to express this. And for some of you, it could be the karmic um, energy from childhood or from past lives so that they can have their queen of cups. Okay, so whoever you're tapping into, the two of you are a perfect pair. There is a lot of unconditional love here. And even though you have unconditional love for somebody, it doesn't mean that you, you know, you don't always end up with the person or you don't always, do, like, you can love somebody unconditionally but still decide, like, you know what, I'm going to put my guard up and I'm, and I'm done with this because of how much they've hurt you. And a lot of times when you love somebody that much, they hurt you the most when they don't express to you how they feel, when they don't show any value on you, or when you perceive them to not show any value on you because they may have just not known exactly how to do that. You may have different love languages. There, there's just something here where I feel like this person has struggled to express this. And it could have just been that they couldn't fully express it because they were in another relationship. But I definitely feel this person's outlook on this or their expectation is that the two of you can find this justice. That the two of you can overcome whatever element has kept you away from each other. And that it feels like they would like to open up and express the love that they have for you. And like I said, I feel like you do love this person. You just are at that point of maybe, like, make it or break it. You may be right at that point of, like, I don't know if I want to wait anymore. I don't know if I can deal with this anymore. If I take another dagger to the heart, I, I'm not getting back up type of energy. So I, I do feel like um, they, they probably are feeling you as well, okay? So, like, you know, I feel like, like I was saying, the foundation, the beginning of this, you probably did go in hard you know we did have that six of cups four four of wands energy so i feel like in the past you were that queen of cups for this person you were giving your love giving your love giving your love they weren't receiving it but now you're in the queen of swords energy and i feel like that's maybe what is making them realize themselves what how they have brought forth that part of you out okay because the queen of swords she's a little cold She's a little angry. She's been through pain. She's been through suffering. But because this is in reverse, I feel like, you know, part of my question here is 
what are their expectations i feel like they expect you to drop your guard to drop that anger or to drop you know like holding yourself back from this if they actually approach you in the right energy and bring justice to this so i, I they they feel like they're not giving up hope on this like like i said to begin like they want to drop the burdens they they don't want to give up on this and they they expect that i feel like a lot of them expect that you will you know come back around for this union for this ten of pentacles if they approach this appropriately if they express how much they actually care about you and stop repeating whatever karmic cycle they've been you know bringing to this and the two of you can heal and come into union with each other um, I also feel like they expect, like, if they were to have this with you, this type of union with you, that you'd be very abundant, that they would have all the things that they've ever wanted in their life. I feel like this person really, really does love you a lot. And they look at you as, like, the perfect person to, to share their life with, to have that nice home with, to be abundant in all of those areas. And it may have taken a really long time for them to, you know, open themselves to this or to get to the point of fixing this or opening up and expressing how they actually feel. But if, again, I feel like it's it's most likely because you've stopped trying or you're just no longer putting up with whatever has been going on before. So now it's like put them into a stand of, if I don't do something, I'm gonna lose this forever. So they may be now ready to fix the relationship with you and, and stop holding back on their their love for you. So let's see what you guys have in common. How are you guys binded? You know, like, what binds the two of you together? So I got the Eight of Wands, which is about taking action and communication. What I'm picking up with this, because this is a fire sign energy as well, um, reading, I feel like the two of you do have, like, that that passion, that energy inside of you. You guys go after what you want. Um, you may both like to travel. You may both, you know, have good communication skills with other people. Um... For whatever reason, though, I feel like there may have been issues within the within this before, like, the two of you. But I also feel like your energy matches on that level. Like, the, this person's probably a go-getter. You're probably a go-getter. It's like, you know what you want. You're not afraid to get it. You're not afraid to speak your truth. We also have the two of swords here. So, even though you guys have this type of energy to go after what you want, I feel like sometimes you struggle in making decisions. So the two of you could have had issues within that. It's like, you may have wanted to take action with each other, you may have wanted to push this really quickly, but there was some sort of indecision that actually like kept you bound. Um, but I feel like once that, that decision's made, once that blindfold comes off, you guys don't, you don't hesitate in going, going towards it. We also have the magician coming through, so I feel like you both are going through a time of transformation. So wherever you were at, you know, in previous chapters of this connection, you guys are now collecting all the tools that are required for you to make those decisions, for you to open up emotionally, for you to know your value and worth, and for you to get your energy in alignment so you can, you know, go after those things, whatever you're deciding to do. And, and I do feel like you guys are the type of people, once your mind is made up, it's made up. So if you're somebody that's like, you know what, I'm done with this, I'm not doing this anymore, I think it would take a lot for you to change your mind. And if you're somebody that made the decision, like, you know what, I'm going after this, this is what I want, then then it would take a whole lot to get you to, to not do it, you know. Um, but I definitely feel like those are similar things within you. We also have the Nine of Swords here, so I do feel like you both share a lot of um, anxiety when it comes to this connection as well, which feels like it's tied into that Two of Swords energy. It's like you guys just haven't been able to see or know or make a clear decision when it comes to each other, and it's brought forth a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of desire to take action, to communicate, possibly even desire to like travel towards each other through that emotional distance. But that transformation was needed, and this was all part of your cycle. This was all part of what you guys needed to go through in order to become better versions of yourselves. So I feel like this was just something, you know, that was karmically set up in your in your connection um, and has made you stronger, you know, to listen to your intuition. I do feel like right now there's probably not a whole lot of communication between the two of you, and there is that shared desire. It's like the two of you want that, but there's like, I feel like maybe one of you... Um, like both of you really it's like um i'm gonna wait till they say something no i'm gonna wait till they say something so again it's like 
both wanting something, both wanting to do it, but neither one of you taking the action on it. And so causing a lot of anxiety, causing a lot of silence. But in this time of silence, you've been awakening your intuition. You're, you're rising up in your intuition. And I feel like in the time of stagnancy, this person's now going through their own awakening and their own new perspective. So that binds you as well. So d even though there's been emotional distance and, and struggles to make a clear decision, there's been all that anxiety and sleepless nights, you are both now starting to see things from a different perspective. So the person that you're dealing with, you know, I feel like the masculine within this, while they were stuck, they're seeing things clearly now or like they're starting to see this in a new way. They're like, wait a minute, I was doing this wrong, you know, or now that you've disengaged, you're no longer going towards them. They now have that space and that realization. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want that space. I would like for that person to be there. And for you, I feel like you've just been silently tapping in to your intuition, the divine feminine and continuing to rise through that energy and seeing things in your own new way. On the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like, as well as I was saying earlier, you guys, you probably want the same types of things out of life. You know, it's, um, this is that ultimate fulfillment. This is the person that you want to share your life with. This is the home that you've always dreamed of living within. This is the family that you've always, you know, imagined to have, regardless of what that looks like to you. I feel like the two of you have a very similar goal or, or frame for what this would be, you know, some people would want a mansion on a freaking cliff of an ocean with five kids or whatever, and other people would want like a little cottage out in the middle of the woods where there's absolutely nobody and maybe like a cat, you know, I don't know, everybody's got their own dream, but I feel like the two of you share that, so that's something that binds you together, it's something you both strongly want and resonate with, and I feel like you are destined to share it with each other, but you just had to go through, you know, this time of allowing this person to take this blindfold off and to start seeing clearly what they need to do and the same for yourself you needed this time to to make better decisions and to follow your intuition and to not you know let somebody you know walk all over you just because you love them so you've learned how to put your boundaries up you've learned how to respect yourself you've learned how to tap into your intuition and you learned when and when to and when not to reach out and say something and when to and when not to do something and so even if there's anxiety and all of that, I feel like it is transmuting and things are changing for the both of you. And this is like taking crap and turning it into gold. So stuff is becoming better, which I feel like could lead you guys to a new beginning of passion and love. So what I'm going to do now is go deeper into this. So if this sounds like your story, um, we're going to find out what is the strength within this relationship? What you know, makes makes this relationship, what quality makes this flourish? And then what are the weaknesses that you both have to improve upon? And then again, um, will, there, will there be a successful relationship between the two of you? And if there are any threats, and then what you might need to do moving forward, okay? So if you want to join me, that link will be down below. If not, thank you for joining me this far. Thank you to everybody who has been sending your love and all of that throughout the past week. Um, I am I am back on track with my my private readings and I am on a wait until uh, October 17th so if you're wanting a private reading it will be a little bit of a wait but all of that information is down below um, and I did get my divine essentials counterpart Oracle so um, I know I'm gonna be editing some of them I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the opening video maybe either today or tomorrow and then I will um, I'll be messaging those of you who did you know request to get the, the pre-order so I can get the um, addresses and all of that and if you're interested in your own deck I do plan on editing them before my next order so they will they're gonna look exactly the same as they are right now on this side but they're like here so I noticed some of them are different sizes and one of one of them didn't one of them wasn't like centered right and then um, there was like a, a typo instead of saying sides I think it said sodas so I'm definitely gonna go through all of them and edit them and uh, it will look you know basically the exact same thing just they'll be like they'll all be OCD ready because I'm a little I'm a little weird with that type of stuff I can't stand it when something's not right um, and I did do all of this on my phone so um, yeah
I will be fixing all of those and then putting out more orders. So if you're somebody that you know wants one of those, um, just send me an email. That My email is down below and I will add you to the list for the next order. And I am going to figure out, I know, I think there's a way I can do something on with them, the people that I got these from, so that you can order and have them shipped to anywhere in the world because I'm not sure how much it would cost me to ship it to you so I think it would be easier to go through the company um, but all of that will be figured out soon and I will talk to you guys pretty soon in Mune, Namaste